welcome to CNN Newsroom. Live from Hong Kong, here are Andrew Stevens and Patricia Wu. And a very warm welcome to our new program, CNN Newsroom. Where we give you everything you need to know as you start a new day. This is the view from Victoria Harbour. It's 6 a.m. here in Hong Kong, 7 a.m. in Tokyo. Good morning. Over the next two hours, we'll be bringing you news, business, sports and weather to get you up to date. Let's get a check of our top stories. A must-run media say a family of 10 was wiped out when their home in Gaza was destroyed in an Israeli airstrike. The Israelis say the raid targeted one of the heads of the Hamas rocket launching unit. It's unclear if he was killed. <laughs> and air raid sirens sound as a Hamas rocket falls on a house in Ashkelon. Hamas's military wing says Israel's Iron Dome anti-missile system won't protect it from rocket attacks. Militants say over four days they fired more than 800 rockets. The Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu says Israel is prepared to, quote, significantly expand its operations against Hamas militants in Gaza. President Obama heads to Cambodia to join a summit of the Association of Southeast Asian Nations. Chinese Premier Wen Jiabao is already there. One aim of the summit is to ease growing tensions over China's various maritime disputes with other countries. Now, Andrew, you have more on, on one of our other top stories, the escalating tensions in the Middle East. Yeah, absolutely, Patricia. Certainly no sign of any easing of tensions across the Middle East. Hamas rockets and Israeli airstrikes crisscrossing the Gaza border as an already deadly conflict edges closer and closer to full-scale war.